Hey everyone, it's Tamil, and I'm back with another Canva tutorial, which is actually a continuation from last week's video where I showed you guys exactly how you can use Canva's color palette generator tool. But now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own color palette. So now if you are on Canva's homepage, all you have to do is scroll down to the very bottom of the page. You're gonna see a bunch of links down there and under the resource section, you can click palette generator. Now, once you have landed on this page what you're gonna see are a bunch of different palettes that are already created by Canva and actually you can see even more than this right here if you click on this tab right here it can take you to a lot more and what Canva did was they just created a bunch of different palettes for you and they taken the liberty to pre-design these so if you don't know what colors to put together or what colors to use then Canva has these palettes already generated and you can just choose from this group or a bunch of other colors as well if you click on this link. And so last week I created a video showing you exactly how to use these and how you can use Canva's color palette generator tool. So you can go and check that out. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can create your own color palette and you can definitely do so. Now what you see right here is an image with a bunch of different donuts and it's a bright image and below it are these colors right here that were generated from this image so what canva allows you to do is they allow you to upload your own image and it will generate colors you know as, as much as they can you know get it close to the image that you already have, they're gonna generate some colors from that particular image. So if you have an image and they have some awesome colors in it and you're having a difficult time creating that color or duplicating that color, then Canva allows you to upload here and they will generate those colors for you. So I wanna show you exactly how you can do that. So if you look over here to the left, you're gonna see this button that says upload an image. If you have an image already that you wanna use, just go ahead and click on that you can pull from that image and upload the image over here to the right. So I have an image right here of some blackberries, blueberries, kiwi, and raspberries. And Canva basically tries to create the color as close as possible to what's in the image. And I think they did a pretty good job with the kiwi and even the raspberries. Um, you can see right here that they even threw in this lighter color right here to try to closely match, you know, the background or even outside of the bowl. Now you're probably saying, well, it's a couple shades off, but this is their way of getting as close as possible to the colors in the image without actually trying to create something that doesn't look like the image itself. I think they did a pretty good job. And what you will see as I scroll across this right here, you see the word copy. You can actually copy this particular color and use it in a graphic that you're already working on. So if you like this particular color right here, this dune color, and you wanna actually use it, well, of course they give you the numbers to it, but you can actually just click copy and you can use it in a graphic design. If you have like a, another page open and you wanna just use it right then and there, you can do that. And I actually show you how to do that in uh, the video for you know how to use Canva's color palette tool. So I go into detail and I show you exactly how you can apply that to your graphics and how you can use it in your brand colors. In this one right here, I think they did a pretty good job. But now what I wanna do is I wanna show you another image just to give you a variety. I'm going to upload a different image right here and you can see how Canva just creates these color palettes. Now this color palette right here is really really great because I think they did a good job with this eggplant color right here or I'm sorry this elephant color and it goes really well with the bottom color. So you see they try to duplicate these colors with the Matisse right here that's matching this blue color right here and then this yellow, I think they did a really good job. You can tell that they're trying to pull from all three colors. And see what I did in this particular image is, I don't have any more than four colors. And so Canva was able to create a color from each color that's in the image. 
And I know you're probably wondering, well, can you have, you know, maybe just three colors or what if you wanted five colors or six colors? Well, one thing about using colors, especially in your business or any type of, you know, branding that you're doing, you don't really want to use more than four colors. Four colors is typically the max as far as trying to create a brand or using images, say on your blog or in your designs, because anything more than four colors is really going to confuse the eye. I mean, it's going to be too many colors to blend together. It's always recommended that you use a maximum of four colors whenever you're doing any type of design work. So these four colors are actually really, really good. I think they did a good job getting very close to the colors that are in the image. And this is pretty much how you would create your own palette. And so if you wanted to actually copy this or you wanted the actual color, now you actually have it. You could either write this um, number down or you can actually save it in your brand kit. So you can do that as well. If you have not created, for example, brand colors, then this is a great way for you to get the brand colors for your business. If you have an image that you want to copy and you want to just get the colors from it and you don't know how to create it, this is a very good way to do so. Make sure that you check out some of my other Canva tutorials that I have here on my channel. I've been creating a lot of videos lately because Canva is like my favorite tool. I love just designing all type of different images inside of this tool because it's so flexible and it's very easy to do. So if you wanna get some more Canva tutorials, then make sure that you check out these videos right here on my channel. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.